So today in this video, we're going to be learning how to synchronize your workflows within ArcGIS Pro and ArcGIS Online environment. As you can know, uh, a lot of people like working in the desktop environment, but that alone doesn't allow you to share maps with a wide variety of people. So in order to do this, we need to have an ArcGIS Online account, which allows us to share maps and data with, with quite a large number of people. So in this tutorial, as you as already seen in the previous tutorial, we added our, our data to our ArcGIS Pro desktop. So now this is the data that was that we previously added. So let's just say we were working with this data and this and we just wanted and we just wanted to publish uh, this cholera data set. So in order to do this, all we got, all we need to do is within our ArcGIS Pro environment, we just need to go to share. And then as you can see on this share package, it has uh, quite a lot quite a, quite a number of options that we can use in order to share our our data or our maps so we can share this as a web map or we can share this as a web layer as you can see there are two options here so let's say we had uh, already published this data set that means we're going to be overwriting the existing layer and adding it and putting this as the as the updated layer but in our case we have we haven't published anything in our ArcGIS online organization account yet so i'm just going to show you what the online environment looks like so i'm just gonna go to my browser okay so as you can see this is the default page within my ArcGIS uh, online account there's only um, this reporter app and there's nothing really that we can do okay so what i want to do is i want to add our data set to this ArcGIS online account okay so in order for you to be able to use an ArcGIS pro uh, you need to have you need to be connected to an ArcGIS uh, online account as you can see here this online account of this connect is the same account which is in here which is within our browser with also the same user so when you when you load uh, your ArcGIS Pro you need to connect your organization account first and then when you do that you open your you open your project so uh, assuming that we already done with this data I know we haven't done much with this data but we just want to share this over an online environment so we just go to share and then we go under web layer we're just gonna publish this as a web layer okay so um, just open the sharing tab right here to your right and uh, it's trying to it's trying to give me some options in which I need to share the data on, on the in the online environment so let's just leave it to it Okay, as you can see, the, the title is already named uh, "Share as a Web Layer." Okay, so here is uh, these are the options. So I'm just gonna name. I need to name the layer. So I'm just gonna name this as uh, "Color Data." Color Data. So I'm just gonna put a summary. Um, Color Data. By John Snow. I'm just gonna put some text to it. I'm just gonna say cholera and uh, tutorial as the tag, and then layer type. I need to uh, send this as a feature layer. So that's that's the, that's the default and the location. Where do I need to locate this? As you can see, we have within our ArcGIS Online account, I created some folders already. We have the COVID-19 folder, the tutorials, and the Zimbabwe COVID-19 resources folder. So now I don't need to add this data into any of these folders, but I just need to add it in the root. So the root is uh, the default, which contains the organization's name. So in this, where we're currently in, this is the default. So I need to add my data into the default. So I'm just going to select here go over here it's already written with the organization's name and it's uh, it has a root parenthesis on it so how do I need to share this layer and if you can either share with everyone or you can share with uh, the organization's members or you can decide to share uh, like with yourself like that's uh, yeah that, that, that's not sharing at all so I'm just gonna decide to share this with everyone that automatically means if my group members can also access this so um yeah first what you need to do is we need to analyze the data for any uh for any uh, for any mistakes before we published it but let's just go over to the configurations for now okay 
so the layer is gonna publish as a feature layer that's okay the content is gonna be color of that yeah I think that's okay so we need to analyze this layer before we publish in order for us to identify any errors so we're just gonna click on analyze it's analyzing the data for any errors or warnings before we publish this layer to the online environment. Okay, as you can see, we have uh, a little bit of um, some errors here. I'm just going to drag this window so that we see clearly. Layer does not have a feature term that's set. Uh, it's just a warning, it's not an error per se, but uh, yeah. Layers data sort is not supported, uh, which is the world topo topographical map. Okay, so here it's telling us that this space map is not supported within our environment. So it's just a warning, but we can still publish our data. So I'm just going to say go and publish here. Okay, so even you say publish it's still gonna give us the same error but no it's not an error message it's just a warning message but if it was an error then we know that our layer was not gonna publish to to our online environment so yeah now it's in the queue for publishing and it's just need it just needs time and uh, a good network connection in order to publish so we, i'm just gonna skip this video and go to the end okay so you saw that we left this thing to run uh, over some time. I had to skip this video in order for the process to finish because I needed uh, a strong internet connection and my also my processing power needs to be strong. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, there's a success message. Successfully published web layer on uh, the 30th, 30th of January 2021 and it also gives you the time and an option to manage the web layer. So now we're just going to go over to our to our online environment to check if this layer was really published. So I'm just gonna go to my browser and then what I need to do is just uh, need to refresh this page and see whether the layer was really published and uh, just gonna give that a second and uh, Okay, yeah, as you can see now, uh, here is the layer that we recently published. So now, uh, the reason why we had an error, which was saying service definition error, like it wasn't an error, but it was just a warning, is because this layer hasn't, hadn't been published already within our online environment. So when we published this layer, it gave us uh, this service definition layer now from, the, from, our, from our desktop environment. So. You don't need to worry much about the warning because it usually happens when you're uploading the data for the first time. So uh, so now if we try to append this data, which I'm not going to do that right now because we can do that later in other tutorials to come, uh, it won't give us any of these errors because this definition layer already exists within our online environment. So remember we added some tags and we also added some a little description within our data. So I'm just going to open this layer and check if that description and those tags were actually recorded in our online environment so it's gonna take just a second uh, wait for it to complete loading fortunately my network is a bit of a problem but it's almost done it should just give us the description. Okay, yeah, here's the description uh, that we named it. Color data collected by John Snow. And we also gave it some tags. Let me just check to see if those tags exist. Yes, we gave it a color tag and a tutorial tag. Okay, so basically this is our layer that we just published from our ArcGIS Pro. We're gonna, we're gonna, from our ArcGIS Pro account. So I hope this tutorial will help also help you to share data that you do in within your ArcGIS and sharing it over online platforms so as you can see i talked about other options that you can use to share i'm gonna be explaining these uh, other options in video tutorials to come but i'll just go over the brief description as you can see on this map or this mobile map package uh, this basically allows you to publish this as a mobile map package over to the online environment so now what you need to do is you need to have a 
the ArcGIS App Studio application that you use to create uh, mobile apps. So what happens now is if a user downloads this map or map, mobile map package, they no longer need to keep loading this data set when every time they open the application because this data set would have been downloaded already at this point. All they need to do is to navigate around with these points already plotted on their map. Okay, so we can also publish this as a web map. I'm sure this, this is just a map package and this is a web map. So if we were to publish this as a web map, it would appear within our organization. As you can see within our organization, there's a view extent like this one. So if we were to say uh, open in a map view, it's just going to give us a map which basically looks the same like this. So we can also publish this um, into our online organization account. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, you're going to implement this within your organizations. Be sure to like and subscribe and share this video with other people who might 